Sure, so Chris, I'm Karen Mullins. Um, I feel like I've worked in travel forever. Um, so I started at uh, Travelocity, I was the third employee back in 2001. Um, I was at Travelocity for a few years um, doing CRM marketing, then moved to Apollo for a stint of a year. Um, then back over to Travelocity as they bought lastminute.com. Um, and I was with lastminute.com for around eight years. Uh, so doing marketing, CRM, and then moved into uh, user experience. Uh, so I was the user experience director there for the last few years. Um, and then I had a call from HomeAway around six and a half years ago. So I joined HomeAway as a UK marketing director, then moved into global marketing. And I've been the regional director for exactly a year and what day are we? Seven days. Um, and so HomeAway, so you say HomeAway is now Virgo. In the UK, our brand is still HomeAway. Yeah, HomeAway is, our, is a global brand, um, but we're using the Virgo name internationally. Um, which is not a new thing, Virbo actually started in 1995. So we offer holiday homes and to, to travellers. My mission is to connect holiday makers to the people and places they love um, so they can drop the distractions of everyday life and simply stay together so they can all be together in one uh, holiday. So it's about the place that they're staying rather than, uh, rather than connecting so much to meeting strangers while they're, while they're there. So said that the segment hasn't really changed at all. So Virbo was actually um, established in 1995. Um, it's just it was one of the brands that, that we, were, we were using. We were using HomeAway in other in other markets. Um, so we still offer 2.1 million properties worldwide to holidaymakers. Um, and as we're part of Expedia Group, um, we actually uh, provide 750 million visits each month to our partners. So that's holidaymakers come on the site to book. Um, so it's still families booking their holidays. Um, and we're still trying to make uh, the, the experience as, uh, as good as we can for families to, to book um, their, their once in a year trip, basically. Um, you know, when um, travellers are looking for any type of travel online, they're looking for photos and reviews and as much as they can find out about the property. So what better than having a virtual tour where they can actually guide themselves around the place that they're going to stay in. Uh, so it's been hugely successful. Uh, so you can imagine, even if you can see 50 photos, which, um, which partners can upload onto the site, it's still not enough. People just want more with the digital age. And as a tier one tech company, we're constantly trying to evolve. So actually having the tour of the whole property is amazing, especially for families to sit and the children to be able to look through and like, argue over what room they're going to have and things like that. Um, so virtual tours is just one of the uh, things we've been looking at. Um, we've got um, trip boards, which is um, separate to virtual reality, but it's um, a way that families can actually try and choose where they want to stay. And if they've got families living in multiple locations, so say you want to go with your brother and sister or aunt and uncle or grandma and they live somewhere else, um, you can actually create a board and you can add properties to the board, vote on it, chat, chat through what the benefits and pros and cons are of each property. So we're inventing these things that uh, families will make it easier and easier to, to book their holiday. Okay, so uh, for 2020, it's a continuation of what we've been building for the last few years. We want to deliver the best experience for families in the UK to book their holidays, whether it's in the UK or anywhere in Europe or anywhere in the world. Um, we know that holiday homes is the fastest growing segment in the travel market, so competition is really fierce. Um, so there's never a time really to be more relevant um, to families um, and to build the technology and make the tools as easy as possible. For, for them to do that and we know within the UK we've got obviously Brexit coming up at the end of at the end of the month so consumers will still be able to travel just like they always have and book their holidays uh, but potentially they'll maybe be looking for more domestic trips while they see what happens so just making sure that we've got all of those great holiday homes around the UK um, and all the coastal places that we currently have just building more of that. Okay, so trends over the next year. Um, so I think a big one, obviously, in the news, um, it's a lot of uh, information about climate change, and people are really concerned about that. So sustainability would be a big one. Um, so holiday homeowners, especially individual owners, can can make different changes to their homes, try to reduce plastic and all those those things. And um, also bleasure. I don't know if you've heard of that term. Within um, the the space of um, technology, people travel quite a lot for work. 
Um, so if we're going away for a business trip, it's adding a leisure trip onto that. And that's a big trend that we're seeing. So it works really well with holiday homes too. So if you're going to go away for a business trip, you stay in a holiday home, you can stay an extra few days and people take their families with them, you know, especially if it's somewhere within the UK, they could take the dog along, etc. So that's a big trend um, that we're seeing. Um, and then it's a continuation of, of families continuing to move to holiday homes. So they see the benefit of alternative accommodation. Um, and then seeking those unique ones like tree houses, etc., that we have on the site. Um, and alternative destinations. So I think there's always a trend of people trying to seek somewhere new. Um, so they obviously they're going to go for the obvious, the Mediterranean destinations on the beach, which they always have, which are always going to be a favourite. But people are really trying to look for that quirky new destination. So you'll see it, January is such a big month in the UK for travel. All of the travel supplements have been saying like hot destinations of the year, so people are still seeking those. Really excited about the shortest actually, it's a great idea. Um, so really looking at all the different categories, they're so varied, just seeing what uh, nominations come through. Um, just really looking forward to being involved in judging and meeting some of the other great uh, panellists there, and bringing all of the industry leaders uh, together. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a really fun, really fun evening.